Hi guys and welcome to this video which is focusing on the uses of diamond and graphite. So if we start off with diamond then, the main use for that is cutting tools. Now the reason for that, we have to go back to the actual properties of it. So if you remember back to the previous video where we said that diamond at every carbon atom forms four strong covalent bonds. Now this means that lots of energy is needed to break these strong covalent bonds. This produces what is known as a rigid lattice structure, which is really, really strong. And if the structure is strong, it makes it hard. And if it's hard, it's ideal for use in cutting tools. All right, so if we move on to the uses of graphite then, there are two you need to know. The first one being that it's used as a lubricant. And to understand why it's used as a lubricant, we have to go back to the basic properties. And that is knowing that each carbon atom can only form three strong covalent bonds in graphite. Now, as a result of this, the actual structure starts to form hexagonal sheets. And these sheets start to build up and form layers. Layers which are held together weakly and can slide past each other, which gives them the properties of being soft and slippery. These properties are ideal for use in lubricants in cars. And one of the other main things is they, like other giant covalent compounds, have high melting points because of these strong covalent bonds which means that they won't melt and they won't break down when used in car engines. The second major use of graphite then is in electrodes. Now we've already talked about the fact that we have three strong covalent bonds and as a result of that we have one spare electron. That electron is free to move therefore it can conduct electricity which makes it ideal for use in electrodes. This introduces a new key word to you, which is delocalized. Uh, delocalized electrons is effectively saying they are free to move. Right, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So the first one on this says name a use for diamond and a use for graphite. So it's asking you for a use for each. So if you were to put two uses of graphite and none for diamond, you would still only get the one mark. Question two, for one of the uses named in question one, explain why it is used in that way. So choose one of the uses you've listed and then actually go into detail about how it's used in that way. And it says you should link the properties of the structure to your answer. Pause the video now, have a go, and we'll see how you've done them in. Okay, let's have a look at the answers then. So if we start off with question one, it says name a use for diamond and a use for graphite. Starting off with diamond then, you've got your cutting tools, and there are two you could have put for graphite, which are either your lubricant or your electrode. Moving on to question two then, if we start off with cutting tools, this is worth three marks, so there are three things you could have put. First one, and the key thing, is that in diamonds you have four strong covalent bonds for every carbon atom. That means that lots of energy is needed to break those strong bonds. Therefore, it's a rigid lattice structure, which makes it hard, which makes it useful in cutting tools. If we move on to graphite, which is your lubricant, this one has three strong covalent bonds, forms sheets or layers, you could have put either word there, and those layers can slide past each other. You could have also put it slippery and soft. And then finally, the electrode. Again, you get the first point for saying three strong covalent bonds, which means it has spare electrons which are free to move or delocalized. Try and get that keyword in. And then finally, it can carry a charge, which means it will conduct electricity, making it useful in electrodes. That about sums up this video. Your review question is a six marker, which has explained the uses of both diamond and graphite, which should now be fairly straightforward. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.